Thank you very much. Uh, after all the great speeches, I'm hoping to still give a great one myself, too. I want to thank you all for inviting me here to address the importance of supporting autistic Pennsylvanians and Pennsylvanians with intellectual disabilities and their families. I draw from my perspective as an autistic adult and my experience in mentoring, teaching, supporting, and advocating for numerous youth and adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities living in the Commonwealth. Forty-eight years ago, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his I Have a Dream speech at the Lincoln Memorial. King noted, we refuse to believe that the Bank of Justice is bankrupt. We refuse to believe that there are insufficient funds in the great vaults of opportunity of this nation. And so, we've come to cash a check. We, a check that will give us, upon demands, the riches of, of freedom and the security of justice. We have also come to this hallowed spot to remind America of the fierce urgency of now. This is no time to engage in the luxury of pulling off or to take the tranquilizing drug of gradualism. Today, we have a new urgency in making real life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness the three pillars of the Declaration of Independence for autistic Pennsylvanians, Pennsylvanians with intellectual disabilities, and their families. Pennsylvania is a pioneering state, making real educational rights for all persons with and without disabilities began here with the Park Settlement of 1971 that formed the framework for the Education for All Handicapped Children Act of 1975, the precursor to today's Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, also known as Special Education Law. The national movement to enable people with intellectual and developmental disabilities to live in their own communities instead of segregated settings also began in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania became the first state to establish a state agency for autism, the Bureau of Autism Services, and the first state to launch in-community service programs specifically for supporting autistic adults. Not one, but two, the Adult Autism Medicaid Waiver and the Adult Community Autism Program, ACAP. Michigan has actually sought to replicate our statewide needs assessment of autistic Pennsylvanians and their families. The largest survey of its kind in their own state. New Jersey, Missouri, and other states have likewise begun establishing their own autism agencies with Pennsylvania's guidance and sought to learn from our experience in establishing regional autism services, education, research, and training collaboratively. Pennsylvania is an innovator and a beacon to the nation whose disability rights heritage has inspired America. We must maintain the path we paved. We must hear voices of self-advocates, families, and our allies living in the Commonwealth who call on us to maintain all the resources, resources, supports, and services. We must maintain our community living services, grants and aid, and support systems. The fear service of now is today. Thank you.